Welcome back to another day of live drawing on your phone using the Paintology drawing app. So you can see here yesterday's drawing which I did was the famous um, John Sargent, John Singer Sargent, an American artist uh, in, the, in the previous century and he was a prolific painter, travelled a great deal, and his mastery of colour, tones, is just remarkable, especially when you do this drawing. So this is our drawing that we made, and this is the original, you can see. In his original, he captures more of the reality of realism with this wonderful Monet-style water there and the shrubbery all the way around including the plantations on the right you can see i could have worked more on this but but given the limited time i think we did this in two hours drawing you know whereas where i take about 20 minutes now to give you an introduction and out of the two hours I went over a little bit for this and and the rest so the two hour session each broken into two parts first part is the one you're watching now and the second part is the one uh, on the other stream there are two channels that support drawing with the pentology drawing app the pentology stream and then the other stream which is my personal stream for use and so drawing is divided into two parts so uh, to make it interesting for both audiences or if you prefer you can finish this part of the drawing and then go on to the next part which is recommended because you want to see the complete drawing so just to let you know this is not an image manipulation software like some of you like to think because you're only here for a very short while. This is a drawing that I transferred with my hand using the tools here, like the brushes, but no blending, no other digital tools. So you would be hard pressed to tell me if this was a digital art. It's not. It's in fact drawn by hand on the phone. So let me show you a few quick resources before we get down to a new drawing, which is the James Whistler, Thames in Ice, the lovely painting we're going to do. Okay, so first of all, this is what you're looking at right now. I made this Mona Lisa drawing a couple of weeks back. I've been decided that I was going to do some grandmasters drawing old grandmasters and this was one so this is the phone samsung phone and i'm using a stylus but you can use a f your finger as well but if you're going to draw quite often i recommend you spend a few dollars buying a cheap stylus look at that i actually changed it to accommodate mona lisa's smile instead of the somber looking Mona Lisa in the original, yeah. So it's a lot of artwork I've done, and uh, that's a few. This was a, one I did a few years back, quite a few years, about three, four years maybe. I used my finger to make this vase of flowers. This one was a reference image. I used a reference image on the side on another device while I did this in free hands just to show you the capabilities of drawing on the phone so let me show you a few different ones this was one of the very first realistic eagle when I decided that I could take my skills further beyond just doing um, painterly type painting that I used to do I decided, okay, because of, I was pressed by many people, well, why don't you do a photorealistic drawing? I don't know, it seems to fascinate a lot of people. And so 
I had a real eye opener when I decided to do photorealistic drawing. I, I pushed my skill just a bit more further and uh, probably put a third more of the time required to do my painterly drawing of painting. And I was managed to be able to get realist realism like this. So that was, I, you can find this. In the videos and all the videos all the drawings i've shown this one i call it the world's fastest digital realistic drawing and it is it took me uh, two and a half hours so you can uh, decide for yourself someone can do this in uh, lesser time than i'd love to hear from them and i want you to pick up these skills that i've acquired to allow me to draw really fast. So these are the skills I show you in this drawing sessions. Plenty of examples, pencil-like drawing. So this is using the shade brush. So you can see here, very nice. Uh, it's very lovely, drawing is a lovely thing. And you should be encouraged to take it up to just watch it. There's no, not, there is a much better time than now to take up drawing because you've got the phone. And if you're going to find excuses for not drawing on the phone, you probably, probably have made excuses a good part of your life. Because it's the human way of saying, I can't do something, therefore I'm perfectly comfortable in my zone. And that's a bit unfortunate, but if you listen to that, you will probably not acquire many skills. So if you want to really acquire skills, you're going to be open to learning. And learning doesn't have to be, doesn't have to be difficult, have to be tedious, not academic. It's actually quite, the way, the way I put this into the Paintology app is that learning the drawing skills and terms and that are a lot more fun than you might think. Especially the, I'll show you the tutorials that we have, 800 tutorials <clears throat> that are designed exactly for that. Firstly, you want to install the Paintology app. It's only for Android users right now, but that may change. So you can type in Paintology and then you'll come across the Paintology app. There you can see there. And then open that. And then you'll see these lovely screens of drawings. And then you'll know that we are at the right place. So you can download and install it. And then you'll have the app like I do on my phone. The phone I'm showing you here. So the other resource you want to do is paint bookmark, paintology.com. And then go down to a little bit down. And then you'll see a button, daily step-by-step video tutorials, click on that, and then you'll come to this page. Yeah, this page is where you want to, you'll find all the uh, tutorials done to date, including the completed drawings, can you see it? Yeah, so yesterday we did the John Sargent, Singer Sargent, Morning Walk, and you can see here her the drawing we did. So we're going back all the way. You can see completed drawing on the phone. One the snowy scene that I did. I quite like this one. Uh, played a plane in the sky during the clouds. You can see here. So this is all done by hand. And you probably have never seen digital drawing done like that. You always see this digital tools you know, that makes your drawing, which is quite mistaken. That's because you can mistake this because you're a beginner or probably, you know, so-so at best. And perhaps quite, quite good with the digital tools, <clears throat> but you're never going to achieve the level of drawing that I show you by hand. And that's because the, I know, art techniques, which many of you will not know, you probably heard of them, tones, values, forms, shapes, textures, <clears throat> volume, perspective, everything. 
And the whole idea of the app, it's not like any other drawing app, is to teach you these techniques, okay? Teach you these art techniques, and so you can apply it to all of the art medium. So this is like a, a sims practical training online for you to become a very proficient artist, artist, no matter what art mediums you decide to use, yeah? And I come from a traditional art background, and uh, I applied my technical knowledge to develop this app, the Pentology app. So it's been designed by an artist for artists to reach the pinnacle of their artistic skills and and take their creativity beyond most people. So if you, if you are if you are really dependent on tools, it's only because nobody's taught you art techniques. And and the fact is that your your art will always be limited by these tools. And that's why I don't use all these tools. I only use the brush, just like traditional. And we've seen superb pieces of art in traditional with simple tools the same thing with digital so keep that in mind and if you you've come here if you want to learn this and go up the scale okay so here's the 4th december reference image this is the painting we're going to do let's download this wonderful image of the cold it gives you a cold you know like the ferocious winter that they're clearing out the snow, and then the, the foggy background at the back. It's just lovely. It's, I picked this because I'm doing the Grand Master series, so, so that's why I have to pick this one. And then, so please bookmark that page. The next one is you want to follow me on paintology.quora.com. So here, if you follow me, you will get an update daily. I've got hundreds of entries here and I've answered 1,500 questions related to art. So pretty comprehensive. I've been doing it for several years. Apart from the uh, paintology.com blog site where you can learn a lot, you know, you can do that. But if you've come here for doodling and quick fixes to your day-to-day -day and in art and you're okay with that, then you can still use it for that purpose, but you're really not going to, you're only going to use 1% of the capabilities of the whole app. And if you're coming here looking for digital tools, you'll be, and one tool after another, and you're just completely dependent on it, you're probably better off uh, with another drawing app. So just keep in mind, I'm giving, giving you another analogy which is you do not judge a carpenter based on their tools, do you? Okay? Because uh, that'd be ridiculous, isn't it? But that's what you will do if you come to this drawing app, deciding it hasn't got sufficient tools, it's made for kids, blah, 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 and therefore not you know, it's a rubbish app or something. You know, that's people who don't know what they're talking about. And, and that's not just talking about beginners. See this one here? There's that. I did the Madonna. I don't particularly like this one, John Baptiste painting. This was the original and the flower drawing. So remember, it's not an image manipulating tool, it is an actual drawing. And I draw like this, and I can develop my skills, and therefore I can apply these skills to freehand drawing. That's what I share. And drawing like this, you'll be very surprised at the, at the uh, tool sets that I provide you, by how quickly you can pick this up. I am pretty sure there is no method like this anywhere where you will pick up drawing and drawing skills, the real drawing skills, faster than I'm going to show you here, okay? Through, 
through some inventions I've made, block coloring, and the way I've laid out the, uh, the drawing app on the home screen. This is, you might, some of you art aficionados will really know that this is a Pissarro. There, of course, the unmistakable sunflowers. I put Pentology here, can you see it? On the vase, where he puts his name, Pablo Picasso. So many for you to go through. George Surratt. You might know this guy, Ferdinand Hodler, the Kean Valley. And this one I particularly like. This is William Turner's Dutch Boats in a Gale. It's a portion of the painting, which is in landscape. You can see his original here. He does a calm sea. I do a very stormy sea. You can almost see all the water droplets. The rain is invisible, but it's really, it's got a torrential thing, and it's almost to the tip. It's going to capsize, and there's a boat at the back. There you can see here. There's a boat there to save the day, isn't it? All right, this is my profile for this Colex, so please follow me there as well. I got 2,289 followers, and you can find the link all below. And then I've answered 1,400 answers. Uh, so close to 1,500 related to art. So I'm a pretty prolific writer as well as a. I actually got a novel out, and I write poetry as well. So skills can be acquired by anyone if they put their mind to it. So again, these are just the entries I made in the Pentology, which gets pushed to Pentology.Cora and pushed to the my produce profile. And then I, the questions I answer gets pushed to here, not in the Pentology.Cora. So you can... Do a search, find a lot of, and then so far you can see 840 posts, right? 2,300 followers. So yeah, so these are the resources I want to show you. The other one is, of course, you've got to, you have to do, oops, I'm sorry, to do the Google Classroom. These are the so classroom. I built over a year ago, which which is exactly the purpose, the aim of the whole app, is to teach you from the ground up essential art techniques. No other ad drawing app does that in a very structured manner like I'm going to, sh like I've shown you. So this one is designed from novice all the way, lots of courses, and they've all got, they've all got tutorial ID 301, yeah? There's a tutorial ID. It's all associated with tutorials, yeah? See that? Yeah. So let's go here. Let's go back to the app. This is the, uh, I pulled this up. It's saved already in my painting, so I'm not going to save it again. But I'll save it just in case. So this is the paintings I've saved here. You can see 500 or so. And this is the main drawing app. You can see here. So this is the main home. So when you come to it, don't go for a draw and then decide I'm gonna, this is all I know. I'm just gonna, it's like any other app. They've given me a drawing tool and I'm gonna doodle my way through through art, and that's not the way. Go to tutorials and follow the tutorials. All these paint by numbers. Yeah, look here. I'll show you Pluto. Look, look at these colors, right? You can see it's got green around the color. Pick a line brush. Green around the koala. Now, we can go, we don't have to do it so crudely. Uh, 
And it's got what? Two. There's a tongue. There's a tongue here. Just pick two. This develops your drawing strokes. Such a wonderful way to pick up skills uh, with drawing strokes and fun. Wonderful and fun way. Fun and wonderful, isn't it? And that will pick up your drawing skills. You don't realize that this is fundamental to drawing. I've made, I've made the fundamental drawing here, right, right now. This is fundamental to drawing, isn't it? This is drawing. It's not like you select a number, click here, and then it gets colored in. You're not going to learn anything like that. Okay, so that's... And there are also, just to start this, plenty of others comprising of 800. They're pencil drawings, and they all come with videos as well. So it's man, not all of them, but some of them, like this nose one that I did. So this was designed to teach you. You can watch the video with this toggle button. And that gives you. It to the level that I. And then that's the shade of the nose. And then you, you do the. Use the shade brush. And do the same thing, right? Just like a pencil. Okay, got it. Just good. So that's what we have. It's a tutorial. Very powerful community is where people post their artwork. Yeah. So you can talk, share, just like Instagram, and do everything on community. My painting. So. Don't come here thinking, you know, hasn't got the tools, hasn't got anything. It's like uh, you if then nobody's gonna pick you to get a good art good artist or a good carpenter because you're gonna walk past the carpenter, forget about how he produces and just check his workshop to see if he's got the right tools before you decide if it's good for you or not. If this person behind the workshop is good or not. You see what I'm saying? The analogy. Think about it if you don't know what I'm saying at the moment. Okay, so there are some other links here, but I'm not going to show you. But here is the search. Remember I should, showed you number 301? This is how you quickly access tutorials. Yeah? So, the apple. So this is the apple done in grayscale, but you want to do it to put in color. Okay. So let's go back to do it because I had it in grayscale. Let's pick that again. See, now it's in color, yeah? So you can do this simple drawing. It will teach you how to develop the strokes. And then block coloring, you may have heard of that. This is something new to digital drawing apps, not available anywhere else. It's in fact something I invented over a year ago while waiting for a routine examination by a doctor. It took a hell of a long time. I don't know, it must have been COVID or who knows, but they took forever. And so I sat with my phone and developed this block coloring which is key to most of the drawings I've done up to date, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and start making the drawing. You may have heard enough of my voice and you want to see me in action. Okay, I've opened up this drawing. Beautiful painting. I just love it. It's like it captures the mood, essence, the cold colors he's picked. He's naturally a gifted artist, isn't he? Well, when I say, oh, I shouldn't use that word, naturally gifted, means it comes to him very easily. And the reason it comes to him very easily is because he's acquired the skills. He's kept his mind open. Majority of you will think a pencil does one thing, make a mark. You have no idea that it's capable of doing hundreds of things. You slant the pencil... You hold the pencil in the right way, you press hard, and it all amounts to wonderful tonal variations that's going on. And here you can see he's 
get these tonal variations. Not really try to make it two dimensional, it just basically just kept kept uh, the colors. Look at the brush strokes, right? Very, very sweeping brush strokes. These, these people who made these paintings in their time are so wonderful. Sometimes I feel I wish I could have met them because you know the ability is sort of somehow sort of ties in with what I'm doing. So how are we going to tackle this? Many of you, some of you here, let me see how many of you are on there. One, there's one so far, but those numbers are inaccurate. So first of all, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to first um, sort of get some of these tones. You see some of these tones? Capture some of these tones. Yeah, see that? And then I'm gonna, and then just, first of all, this cloud, I'm gonna divide this drawing. First of all, do, you know how traditional people, remember, if you have an idea of how traditional art is created, this is actually, I'm gonna show you how. I'm gonna do the sky that this big brown patch and then the dark brown patch and then this black patch here and white sort of white but it's not white you know it's not white <laughs> so that's really how a traditional artist will go about doing a painting so let's do that let's go back to the line brush <laughs> excuse me very much Let's go to 23% and then let's pick these colors. Right, you may think that I picked the colors now. Look, see, so if I have it in midpoint, I'm going to pick these colors, right, of the sky. Make sure you land on the, and then it doesn't. Just drag it along across the across the horizon, yeah. So because we we're, we're just doing the background, this is just like traditional art. Right. So I said I'll do the sky, and that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm doing the sky, and remember. There are subtle variations that Whistler used in his paint. They're not one-dimensional, creating one block of colour. The whole idea is that tones create the realism in any painting. Okay, let's see what we got here. See the colour? Lovely, isn't it? Now we can fill that in. So this is the background of that sky. Now let's do the, the this part. Yes. And drag it wherever you see it. All the way from here. Drag it. And then here. And then now that's too probably too dark. And then let's get this brown. Remember this dark deep colour? Let's get that. And then let's get this dark colors right and then this and then this brown color right of the Thames and then just get that okay and then cut the black here like that so and then remember we said we're going to go there so now you can see the brush effectively creates the tones that was in the original but they're still broad tones remember we're going to do that snow and we said it was white it's not really white just the eyes fooling the hole you can see what we've got here 
Yeah, that's perfectly fine. Most people are thrown off thinking you're going to... Most beginners think you're going to have to get drawing done in one stroke, which is real nonsense. You never, you have never seen a traditional artist. Somehow, two seconds later, the canvas is filled with wondrous colours and that. They build it up. So let's, the rule of thumb, take it down to half the original. And now let's tackle some smaller there. Some of the other characters in this that will accommodate this brush size. Yeah? Remember to keep it always halfway. So you're picking the reference image color, right? So take that. And then any areas that you can see that will allow you to use this brush stroke. Just lay that down now, okay? That's all. You see that? Like that. All right, you can see you've got this brush size, still big for a lot of the features zoomed in like that, but still we can lay down the broad crude colors initially and then get more features of this whole Right. I'm picking the color picker. So what happens when I pick the color picker and then I land, I'm picking up the tone that's actually there. And we know most of the tones will be similar to this. It won't be dramatically different apart from the snow. You can see the edges because the contrast edges. Yeah. This is this his name Whistler. Can we get this guy? Well, maybe a little bit of it. Let's get that then. Let's get that. Get that. The white there. And then get a little dark patch there. And then let's continue to build up this. We're not even nowhere near the boat where you can see all these masts and the sails. This was the day when exploration was at its peak. So let's see if we can, uh, let's see what we have here. See, another, so let's save that with the two brushes. Now let's carry on, just carry on, okay? Now what we do, rule of thumb, yep, you got it. Take that down to half. And now we can get really into some nitty gritty details. Right. And do this patch, this patch. Okay. We can now clean some of these areas you can see here. And then get some of them really get into the details of the, even the small areas where the brushes could not accommodate. Can we do this mast here? Yeah, almost. Let's do that. Yeah, on the mast. All right, we're going to keep building up with these lovely colors. That, yeah, it's a bit like paint by numbers, but it's working in an agile way. Some of you, when I say agile, will know what that comes from project management meaning that we continue to improve this one there just a little there see we can get to the nooks that way let's do that this mess if you remember and then there's a darker just pick these colors All right. And now let's see if the brush will go up here. Yeah, almost to that guy, isn't it? 
and then we can tidy up as well you can see here when you zoom in and try and get close to what is intended and then we can start filling in details don't worry about it yet just do follow with this here so you see it's a little darker there and then you can see here it needs to be improved here that's a little So, the real world is all about tones. If you understand tones, you're really on your way to becoming good at drawing. Not just understand it. You can understand tones, but you'll never be really good. But this is a great way to practice and get better at drawing. All right. uh. Of these little patches. As you get better and better, you'll know how to pick up these nuances of color. So right now we are using a hundred percent patch size. Let's see where we are. You want to see where we are? Let's see. Oh, it's getting shape, isn't it? Wonderful, isn't it? Look, it's getting shape. Now we can see going from our drawing there to get more details so now you guessed it we're going to reduce the brush even even more so let's save this and this is our drawing it's getting better you can see the harbor of the water it's getting more better and better so now yep you take that down to two now percent yep there it is and then now we get close to the deep actually in reality i'm going to save this and then open it up again because i've been told by my developer i need to do this so because we're working on the post shot now we can probably tackle these mass isn't it pick up the yeah keep it 100 percent pick up the There, see, so pick up the colors that are going through here, okay? What are we going to do? Yeah. You think this was difficult, isn't it? No, not really. So now we can. In fact, what we're going to do is we're going to now take this don't worry about the light i'm going to take this to about 760 65 percent okay so don't worry about it just try, follow me trust me okay for now and then i'll explain it just pretend you're drawing this just like pencil you you look at this and then Draw this here. Yeah. Well, let's pretend a combination of color picker and getting this. So, excuse me just for one second.
Hello. Sorry about that. Okay, let's continue. So as you know, I've got a... I've got a breath size. 2.6% with 65% density. Don't worry about that density. I'm going to explain it a bit more. Just continue to pick the... Okay, just continue to pick the areas that you think here. See that? It's the blue color. This is the color that's on the boat. Okay. You can see here what I'm doing here is just trying to capture some of these more textures that are going on here. See, a smaller brush, you're going to go over areas that you might have missed. And this is a rather an impressionistic painting not intended to be real. Right, we're just getting more textures, more tones at a higher resolution. 460%. I've been all the way up to 800%, believe me. If you do go up that level, you're now encroaching on the area of hyperrealism. I'm just going to get this mask going for you so you can see it. And in the next part, I've got my judge. In the next part, we will get the more detail. It's all about techniques. You can see here. Don't look for tools as the means to show you everything. Figure it out yourself. If you don't, you're going to stay stuck in one thing becoming dependent on the tools and I told you what that leads to and actually you think tools actually extend your skills but honestly it limits your ability and what you can do to look like a boat, I think. Remember we used the 100% 
brush, it's really harsh. You because you see what I'm doing. Um, you get an appreciation of why this brush will work. Let's see what we have. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? Just a little bit of effort. And remember, we're not going to go beyond the two hours we've been allocated for this painting. It's not like some upper management, because I am actually more of the upper management, but it's always a good idea to set yourself a goal. So we're going to go here on the right side because we've been focused on the this. So we can lay down this and then we can see where we are. Okay, look at that, it's turned a little paler to exactly what we want to get these nuances. You know, the nuances of. Parts we're drawing, basically just going through that very quickly. So pick up the emails. Excuse me, that's All right, so can you hurry on? Go away, yeah. You can see here what I'm doing. You're just getting carried away with all these little tones, contrasting tones. That's what I'm looking for. Contrasting tones. So this is again a new method I'm using. Right? Because you've got to learn techniques. If you don't, if you don't practice, you might as well stick to you're always going to be stuck. If you don't practice, you're always stuck. If you don't practice or try and extend your ability, you'll be stuck doing the same thing. He's obviously had a bigger canvas than we did, but since we got the zoom feature, we can really expand. Okay, let's keep going down here on this side, and let's see what we've got here, right? What was really appreciated around that time, you know, 
and for good reason, because they didn't have any photographs, did they? They could only enjoy the essence of the, the beauty of the world through painter's eyes. I mean, photography were just coming into fashion, but still crude by many means, not like the digital we have here. Progress mankind's made. Astonishing, isn't it? Well, we haven't got this bit, so grab this, this. All these little towns. So as you can see how small that brush is. And then we have this. And then look at that. That's sort of a crude boat, isn't it? So we can go here. Oops, we picked that because we picked the the boat. The, the black on there, that's why the whole thing obviously turned black. Right, then we can see here we got this. Let's have a look, see where we are. That is an improvement, isn't it? Okay, so we're going to stop here actually. Because we're going to hop on to the... I was getting carried away, actually, with this. I'm going to we'll give ourselves, like, five minutes break, which is just beyond the 10 a.m. for the next class. Uh, the link in the description or in that page I showed you earlier. This one. This one, this page, yep. So you can come to that. And you'll see the second part here coming up shortly. In fact, two minutes away, but we'll take a good few minutes break, like five minutes, yeah? So I'll see you then. Okay, thank you. Bye.